Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're returning to you, welcome back to We're going to get into another reading. See what's the vibe, see what spirit has you at this time. I see you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Take what resonates, because if that's not on this table, this is a general reading. Tower responsibly. So spirit for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, both know all Libra placements. What's the overall energy crowning this message for Libra at this time? We have the base chakra. You could be uh, guided to work on your base chakra at this time. Okay, let's see. What is the overall energy? And then we have patience and prosperity. Okay, you're also being guided to have some patience and plan in regards to your root chakra. All right, Libra, I did say prosperity, but maybe you're guided... To balance out your root chakra your base chakra in regards to your uh prosperity right that's all about your security so let's see what is the message here for Libra in regards to this overall energy we have the five of swords coming out in reverse the king of pentacles yeah so currently it could be a little unbalanced um for sure sun but there's like definitely abundance and success here um this energy could also be external to you there could be a masculine energy that maybe their root chakra is currently unbalanced and maybe they're trying to have patience and plan something in regards to you it could have something to do with being in a higher level of commitment with you but let's see what is the message here yeah look the two of cups came out in reverse so this could be someone that you're no longer in a relationship with. What is the message for you, bro? This could be someone that you used to live with as well. Three of swords in reverse. So maybe this person is like really wanting to move out of like an energy of feeling hurt, <clears throat> feeling hurt, feeling pain when it comes to you. They also possibly don't want to let you know but they are all up in your energy. There's also a desire for this person to stop wearing a mask, okay? So again, maybe they could be like trying to plan something, trying to have patience. How could they get back in your good graces, okay? This could be an earth sign masculine as well. But like, how do I get back in Libra's good graces? There could also be something significant about uh clarify the sun. The ten of swords, yeah. So this person could have backstabbed you and betrayed you multiple times, or they could just be really suffering internally at this time. There there could be like a urge to want to like speak their truth to you, okay? It's like take off this mask, speak their truth to you. How can I get back into your good graces? Also, someone could have actually balanced out their base chakra and maybe they're in a more abundant space at this time. They could want to let you know that as well. But Spirit, what is the Ten of Swords energy here for... Um... Yeah, King of Cups. So, yeah, maybe this person... <clears throat> oh, they really like trying to close my throat chakra too every time. So maybe this person like really loves you here. Someone could even feel that getting a tattoo or something like that could be significant to getting back into your good graces, right? You know how they be like, um, tap my name if it's real or whatever. There could also be <clears throat> something significant about this person just kind of like expressing their emotions to you, but I don't know why they, uh, maybe they, let me see. This person is maybe coming to a realization of how much they love you as well. Spiral, maybe this... Okay, I see what the blockage in the throat chakra is. Maybe this person has a hard time expressing their emotions here. Okay. For others, it could kind of be because maybe they're trying to like plan to maybe just like... 
reveal this to you. Maybe even possibly a tattoo. <laughs> it's making me feel like if I'm ruining someone's surprise of like, look, baby, I got your name tatted on me. <laughs> but let's see. Spread, what's, what is the blockage in this person's throat chakra here? All I do in greatest love. So let's see. Maybe someone could actually be like praying about this connection. They could have prayed about it. They could be patiently waiting to hear back from the divine in a sense. Because in the greatest love, it says, had to pray before I jumped into it head first. Ain't an expert, but I know I never, ever felt like this. Never, ever been held like this. Never met nobody real like this. And again, further confirming about the tap, tap my name so I know it's real type of energy. Also... <clears throat> Maybe this uh, Leo energy already has a tat or there's a water sign with the tat. But let's see what, um, what Spirit has to say about patience and planning. Also, one could be significant to you. Seven could be significant to you. Turn five, patience and planning. We have an ancestral wisdom. So... The divine definitely wants you guys to use your, your wisdom um, or also kind of like pulling in your ancestors to assist you if you guys are like needing to balance out your root chakra. If you feel like you're in a dark place in regards to it, you feel extremely negative about it. You're really trying to get into this abundant energy, this successful energy, and you kind of suffer internally about it a lot. Um, calling on them as well will kind of put you in the energy of um, ending up really happy, okay? When it's all said and done type of thing. <clears throat> so, Spirit, if this is a ex of yours, what's going on with that? <clears throat> Gathering around the power of community. So maybe this person literally like wants to come be around you, okay? And like I said before, definitely in your energy. This person could be meditating over connecting with you, maybe feeling like they'll have the chance, they'll have the possibility um, at some point in time to connect with you again. Someone could literally be going somewhere where there's like a little bridge type of thing. It's kind of giving like, uh, some places in like big parks and stuff, they have things like that. So that could be significant for someone as well. Also, someone could be 51, someone could be 26, someone could be 34. But definitely all up in your energy, feeling emotional, baby. Spra, what is the guidance? Uh, from their ancestors besides calling on them, besides having patience and planning in regards to shifting into an energy of abundance here. What is their advice here? Hold on, y'all. Because the card that just flew out, I can't show that card. It was the tower card, but the, de the deck that it was from, I'm not going to show that here. So it was the tower card. So it's like have patience, tap into your ancestral wisdom, make some plans to change it, and then actually allow the divine to intervene here. Clarify the king of cups. Thank you. And look, we have your ancestors coming out with the Father of Coins, which is also uh, the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is here. So, I also feel that energy really strongly about someone kind of like changing their finances. And that could be the reason that they want to come back towards you. There's something significant about this person possibly in the past being very manipulative, even being in a player energy, okay, and confirmation on that. And again, the love is in reverse. So it's something about 
like kind of wanting to show you uh, maybe their honest selves or just like the main energy around this whole reading is like being real here, okay? That's standing out so much. It can also resonate as someone kind of wanting to be real with you if their finances are kind of fucked up at this time as well. And this person has passion for you. And for someone, this could literally be someone that you live with here. Maybe someone's like kind of losing all hope in regards to you. But there's something about you being their wish fulfillment here. Also, hold on, because they're guiding me to kind of look at this other song. Um, I just read it, but I didn't say anything out loud. It says, never place anyone above you if if it's all I do. No one else will ever have my heart. Can't envision life with us apart. Yeah, so someone is really struggling internally about you guys being apart at this time. They clearly just said when you know better, you do better. So maybe this is how this person is just feeling. Spirit, what you want me to tell Libra in regards to this love? Emotional loss, yeah. So this person is feeling it. They also could want to kind of like release the drama, the obstacles and challenges that you guys had currently. Or if they were facing their own and it had anything to do with their finances. Again, maybe this person is kind of like gotten over that gotten over those challenges and maybe they just really want to come back and let you know this all right so it's like can i be real with you also if you resonate with this reading as far as with your own root chakra here the divine wants you to tap into your spiritual strength all right and sometimes your spiritual strength is just kind of endurance okay also paying attention to the crown chakra downloads that you receive um and again, having patience and also going within a lot and calling on your ancestors because a lot of the times, maybe for some or someone specific here, maybe you kind of like overlook that part that you could kind of call on them to assist you, right? The same way that you could say your prayers to the divine, you could also ask your ancestors for assistance and help. What would your ancestors do type of thing, okay? And then pay attention to the crown chakra downloads that you receive because you may very well receive some guidance in regards to that also. There's something here about you guys being a limitless being and kind of acknowledging that. But again, the love energy is kind of taking over, so... Why is this person in such a space of feeling of this emotional loss? Solitude. There's something about you guys being single, being alone. Um, and maybe this person themselves has went within in some type of way. And again, with the heart, the heartache and loss in reverse, which is giving three of swords energy, which is here at the end in reverse as well. So maybe now that you have moved on from this person, it's like, maybe they're just kind of like dead set on trying to make you happy. It's like no one else will, what is that? Never place anyone above you if it's all I do. So maybe they just see a future with you and really want a future with you here at this time. And I'm just a messenger, baby. Because <laughs> y'all gonna be like, Leo, fuck that Leo. <laughs> Yeah, there's a very significant energy significant energy around this person kind of like balancing their own uh, finances out. Maybe for someone here, that was a part of the problem um, when you were dealing with this person in the past. Maybe you felt like they didn't have their shit together. There's also something significant about maybe someone could be uh, heavy in their heart space because... Maybe they saw you. They could have saw you by yourself somewhere. Um, or maybe this person hasn't seen you. And they're kind of like, again, you're just on their mind. It's like their heart chakra is kind of like fired up at this time. Because 
even in this card it kind of really looks like this like their heart chakra being fired up in regards to you it's like it's also kind of giving the energy of like i have some finances but i don't have the love type of thing okay so that could be significant as well right because we know um money is good money is great but you also want to have love too so that could be really what it is when it comes to this person is i balance my finances but now i don't have any love i don't have anyone to share it with i need i need libra yeah i need libra to share to share my finances with all right so swear what is this person uh next action towards libra if they resonate there's something here about this person kind of like maybe attempting to come towards you to try to like feel like they're whole again because this person literally probably feels like they have a hole in their heart um there's also something here where it's like i've learned something okay with the teachability in reverse it's like maybe in the past this person wasn't really open to kind of being taught or whatever open to whatever you could have been saying your advice in regards to their finances and now it's like you don't really need to teach me because i kind of know it's like i also realize and recognize that i didn't protect you um and maybe for someone here this person could have been a little shallow here and there is a lot of attraction towards you at this time so like i said this person could have definitely saw you out and if not maybe you just still looking really good and it's like damn i feel this loss it's like again i have i have this money here but i don't have them and maybe they just sent up some type of prayer to reconnect with you here i'll ride for you yeah so maybe this person's kind of like again wanting to show you that it's real i'll ride for you i would do anything believe <sighs> believe i'll die for you so they want to come ride for you baby they also want to move this connection out of stagnation but they could also they could feel like not so inspired they could also feel like this is a faded connection here spirit what is libra's advice if they resonate in regards to this love it resourcefulness came out in a struggle position so this could be an earth sign that's really struggling here earth sign masculine that's really struggling with their feelings um they could also be struggling and maybe they feel like you guys may not respond in the best type of way um but again it's like really showing like this heart chakra energy i can't get past that as well What is this? What is their advice if they resonate? What is Libra's advice if they resonate when it comes to this love energy here? Right use of power. So yeah, maybe this person is kind of now like heavy on the Leo energy. Maybe so maybe now this person kind of like wants to do the right thing in regards to you. They definitely don't want to lose you. Um, and again, they've been working on themselves, working on them fi their finances. And they could also kind of just feel lost without you completely, right? Uh, confirmation again on the emotional loss. And they're watching you, baby. So just know that. Um, honestly, I feel like if you resonate with the love part of this reading, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. There's something about... Um, Again, this person is very much so wanting a future here with you. And again, from the bottom of their heart. So again, the, the whole tattoo energy, like I said, either they have one already or they're kind of just like, I would even do that as a way to kind of like prove my love type of thing. Because they really want a future with you. They really want to be happy with you. 
And honestly, they don't want to kind of bring you any kind of pain or despair. Again, if this is your read, so tire responsibly, take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. I send you guys much love and light, and I'll see you in the next one.